Okay, so this is a little video just to show you, I'll give you a little demonstration, a little taster of EFT, sometimes called tapping, because I've been talking about it for a while now. And I'm sure some of you have tried it or done some of it before, but you may not have done. And it does look and sound absolutely ridiculous. So let's uh, address some of that now and um, yeah, see what you can do. See if you can give us a go and see what you think. So what we're going to do, is we're not going to tap on anything too serious, but just a bit, bit of a introductory round. So we're going to tap on, what we're going to address is how you, th what you're thinking about tapping. So I've been talking about EFT for a while now, and I've been talking about how amazing it is and how it can change your performance, help you reduce anxiety, nerves, improve your confidence, all these things. And I've given you a bit of a description about how to do it, so maybe you've seen elsewhere what it's all about, but be really honest with yourself. How do you feel about it? What are you thinking now? Now, when I do this in a group, I get people, some people saying, sounds ridiculous. That was me when I first heard about it. Ridiculous isn't gonna work. Some people quite intrigued, um, some people have heard about it before, so quite excited, interested to give it a go. Other people are just a bit, does it actually work? Like, what is it? Does it work? So ask yourself, you know, how do you feel about it? What do you think about it? And just either make a mental note or write it down. Because we're going to maybe change that a bit. Um, and please feel free to let me know, reply to this leave a comment um, wherever you're watching this. Yeah, let us know how you initially feel about it. And then what I'd like you to do is just give a mark out of 10 if zero is nothing at all, and 10 is the most intense of that feeling, whatever it is you've written down, either excitement, intrigue, it's ridiculous, it's not gonna work, sounds like a road bull, yeah? Zero to 10, where are you on that scale? Again, there's no right or wrong just to get a gauge and if um, the tapping changes that. Again, write that down, piece of paper or mentally. Okay, so let's get out with a round of tapping. So I'm gonna go with it looks and sounds ridiculous because that's how I felt when I first watched it. Oh, sorry, when I first heard about it. <coughs> Excuse me, I was nearly on the floor. You nearly had to peel me up off the floor. I was Try not to laugh so much. So tapping, I'm right-handed, so I use my right hand. And that sort of, that soft bit of the skin in between your little knuckle and your wrist bone, we just tap gently there. I mean, this is just a setup statement, just set up how you feel. And you can replace the words of ridiculous with intrigue, excitement, nothing, not sure if it works. <coughs> And repeat after me. Bearing in mind you're taking full responsibility here. If you know of any reason why you shouldn't be tapping on your face, because you're going to tap on your face and upper body, don't do it, okay? Then repeat after me and copy me. Even though EFT sounds ridiculous. Kate's been banging on about it. But I can't see how it works. Sounds ridiculous. There's no way it will work. Really? Tapping on my face? Or talking about something? Is really gonna lower my anxiety? Or frustration? Nerves? Imposter syndrome? Don't believe it. I deeply and completely I accept myself anyway. And we're not saying that bit because we want to accept it, but, but that's how we feel. We never want to brush our feelings under the carpet and pretend they don't exist. You know, that's the beauty of EFT. You acknowledge how you feel. So we say this twice more. So even though it sounds ridiculous, and now I'm doing it, it's even more ridiculous. 
Kate keeps going on about it. And others do as well. Sounds ridiculous. Looks ridiculous. I feel ridiculous. It's a bit, I feel a bit like the Emperor's new clothes. What is Kate getting us to do? But I deeply and completely accept myself anyway. That even though I feel ridiculous, before I was thinking it was ridiculous, now I'm actually feeling it. There's no way it'll work. How is this going to help my sport? How's this going to help me play better, run faster, want to increase my motivation, help me serve better, whatever it is? How's it going to help? It's ridiculous. I deeply and completely accept myself anyway. Okay, so now we tap through the pointers. So that was the setup statement. So again, I use my right hand, you can use whichever. So it's the eyebrow point, literally just where your eyebrow meets your nose. You say, sounds ridiculous. And then you follow the round to the side of your eye. I've got my glasses on. Side of your eye, just on that bone on the side, and you take them off. Sounds ridiculous. Okay, under your eye. Feels ridiculous. Under your nose. I don't know how this can work. On your chin. It's ridiculous. Okay, collarbone. Ridiculous. Under your arm. Looks, sounds and feels ridiculous. I'm gonna put these on, it's much better with my glasses on. Here we go. Feel ridiculous. I don't know how it can work. It doesn't seem very scientific. Sounds ridiculous. Don't believe it. I really want my performance to improve. I want to get better. I want to feel better. So I'm willing to try anything which is probably why I'm sitting here tapping my face, feeling slightly stupid. Or am I? Maybe not as much as I was a moment ago. Feeling ridiculous. Am I? Maybe not so much. Feeling a bit calmer. Feeling a bit calmer, maybe. In fact, let's just have, see, I want to yawn. <sighs> have a deep breath. Because actually when we shift something, and I don't even feel ridiculous, but something shifted. Um, when we sh something's shifted, we might yawn, take a deep breath, feel suddenly feel tired. Um, just check in with yourself. How do you feel now? Do you feel so ridiculous? Maybe you do. Think of that number that you wrote down or whatever it was you were tapping on. I was obviously tapping on being ridiculous. You might be tapping on is not going to work or curious or intrigued or something else. Just check in with yourself. Now, that feeling or thought, is it still the same number that it was before? Maybe it was a 7 out of 10. Maybe it was a 6. Maybe it was a 10. Don't just notice where that's changed to. Okay? Let's see what happens next. Let's keep on going. So that feeling, it's maybe changed a bit. Maybe I'm feeling a bit less ridiculous. Something shifted. I feel a bit calmer. I don't feel so stupid. This feels a bit easier. Maybe. I'm not quite sure, because I'm not quite sure what's happening. But I do feel a bit lighter. I do feel a bit, well, certainly less ridiculous. It's intriguing. Wow. And that's just after a couple of minutes. 
noticed a difference already. So maybe this could be quite exciting. Seeing what I can do, seeing what could happen if I do use this technique Kate keeps banging on about. Maybe I'm open to trying it and seeing what happens, seeing where it takes me. It could be interesting. Imagine if it did work. I don't, don't think like that. I don't want to get too overexcited. But maybe there's no such thing. Maybe it's given me a bit of hope, a bit of intrigue, a bit of excitement about taking it further, about what I can do with it. That's interesting. Very interesting indeed. Feeling quite excited, quite excited about what might happen if I do use this, if I do use this technique and apply it to my sport. So this happens this quickly. Imagine what could happen if I did it for a bit longer and actually applied it to my sport. Wow, that is exciting. Being open to finding out a bit more about what might happen if I use this technique, if I take it a bit further. I'm open to it. Open to it now into it now. Okay, deep breath in. We're going to yawn. On cue. Oh, excuse me, I might have gone blank. I just had a low battery message. Um, how do you feel? Do you feel a bit more excited? Just check in with yourself. Look at that number you wrote down at the beginning and the way you originally felt. Do you still feel like that or have you shifted? Yeah? Let me know. Either reply to the email, comment below, wherever you're watching it. Get hold of me, let me know. Because it's, uh, yeah, I love it. I'd love to hear what you experience, what you think, what you feel. Maybe nothing changed and you're still thinking, what is she talking about? And that's okay too. <laughs> um, I still want to know. Alrighty. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed making it. A few shifts happened for me, that yawning and deep breathing, maybe the same happened for you. Anyway, look forward to either seeing you on another video or in another email or somewhere else. Alrighty, have a great day.